Hey guys, welcome again to this YouTube channel. It's been a long time since I have posted any video on this channel. Uh, so guys, if you are from the QA community, so you must have heard about the buzz that is going around in the market. So that buzz is that new AI tool is coming from a founder of Selenium and APM. So Jason Huggins dropped a video on YouTube hinting that new tool YBM is coming into the market. So this tool is going to be completely AI native open source test automation tool which is, which is going to reshape QA for AI era. So we are going to talk about YBM today, whatever hint uh, Jason Huggins dropped in YouTube video. So we are going to discuss about that. Let's get started. So now the thing is why so much hype? Why it is so special? The first thing is, since this is coming from the founder of Selenium and APM, Jason Huggins, and also it is positioned as successor to Selenium. So the second point is, because in the past, Jason Huggins shown us that what true problem solving looks like. So he introduced Selenium, which changed testing forever. He introduced APM, which changed mobile automation forever. So that is why it is so special. So the third point is because it is positioned as AI first. So it means that learning curve is going to be minimal. So that is why it is so special. So here is the thing that why QA community has so much buzz about YBM and what are the things that YBM is offering. So first thing is it enables tests in plain English. So it means we can write test in plain English. It means that no coding is required. So this is the first problem that YBM is going to solve. The second thing is it is going to have self healing locators functionality. So what it means that locators are going to adapt as per the UI changes. So we know there are so many tools that are offering self healing. So but the thing is, let's see how Jason Huggins solved this problem with YBM. The third thing is it is going to have fewer flaky tests. So we know about Selenium. Selenium obviously it, it is very good tool but over the time we come across so many issues and the main issue is that there are so many flaky tests in Selenium. So to resolve this Jason Huggins introduced this tool AI driven resilience is going to reduce the false failures. So th this is the third point that uh, Jason Hugging hints that it, it is going to have very less flaky failures. So the fourth thing that I like the most that it has AI native architect. So it is built from the ground up for the intelligence, not that it is bolted on later. So fourth point is AI native architect. So let's go to the final thoughts about the YBM. Uh, so the final thoughts on this tool. So first thing is that obviously uh, Jason Huggins simply dropped the video on YouTube. That's it. So we do not have any official documentation of this tool. So we have to wait until the full documentation is released. Then we can uh, proceed with uh, that how this tool works actually. So the second thing is so we have to keep eye on that how it is evolving over the time right so once documentation is released it is going to take a year or two to adapt it in the market uh, so third point is we are very excited to see how quickly it is going to be adopted in the community and how it is going to evolve against the established tool like playwright and selenium Okay, so that's all from today's video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.